Hi there, welcome to Marks of Maturity. This weekend, we have the joy of moving our clocks one hour forward. Hooray! <laughs> right? Uh, what, what a cool thing that we do, uh, moving our clocks forward uh, every spring to convince ourselves that we somehow have more daylight. You know, this whole thing, though, got me to thinking about time and time as believers, as followers of Jesus. We live in a time dominated society. We have, we are all about schedules. We have all of these different things happening uh, around us and we are busy people, but time is actually a really, really precious commodity. We have only one shot at this life and I want to live my life well. And I think that you do too. You know, in Ecclesiastes chapter three, there's a, a whole section there at the beginning. Uh, there's a time to be born and a time to die. And you might have the eagles uh, singing that song in your mind right now. And, uh, and that's kind of, kind of cool. But right after that, it says uh, this in verse 10, I have seen the burden God has laid on men. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Eternity is mysterious. That idea that there's this foreverness that we get to enjoy with God, that's hard for us to wrap our minds around. But I really want to encourage us, let's think about each day, each moment, as that's an opportunity, because that's what it is. It's a chance for us to live our lives fully and completely to the Lord. My prayer for myself and my prayer for you is that I would, at the end of my life, be able to say in the same spirit as Paul, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And to just know that this was a life well lived. God bless you. Have a great day.